This is something I always wanted to build for myself. It's the infamous YouTube counter. It's kind of boring, I know. But that said, I'm gonna build one anyway. Yeah, okay, I'm overselling it. But you gotta admit, it's pretty hard to make something like this interesting. So anyway, let me show you what I came up with. All right, so here it is. Now, I wanted to use parts that were easy to find and not too expensive because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this thing. So I went with regular Mac 7219 LED matrix modules. Uh, these are the square ones and they're very easy to put together using jumpers. Also, I added a small 2.8 Nexteon LCD module. Uh, these are very cool. They're very easy to program. And also the Node MCU, which sits inside the box here. So let me open this box so I can show you the connections real quick. All right, so here's the Node MCU down there. Now, this whole system is being powered by USB through the Node MCU. What The way I'm doing this is I'm powering the Mac 7219 modules using 3.3 volts from the Node MCU. But the Node MCU also has a VN pin at the top left here. And if you connect something here, it will give you 5 volts out, which is what I'm using to drive the Nexteon display. Now, the Node MCU can go up to 800 milliamps. And I did some testing, and 8 of these Max 7219, when I drive them uh, with text and normally, they don't go over 50 milliamps. So that's fine. And the Nexteon screen itself, not above 50 milliamps also so grand total 100 milliamps and this guy can go up to 800 so that's fine now the enclosure itself was 3d printed from some models i found on thingiverse this is one model here for the max 7219 and this is another one for the nexteon display now as for the functions i wanted something more than just showing the number of subscribers since that can get old pretty quickly uh, so I added these. Now the first one is kind of like a quote of the day thing. Uh, it gives me a reason to look at this thing when I get inside the workshop every day. The second one shows the day, the current day and the current time. The third one is of course the YouTube subscriber count. And last is the total views on YouTube. Now I put that one in since, uh, well, it's a big number and uh, it makes me feel good. Now I thought about adding like uh, the current weather conditions, uh, but then I thought, why, why do I need this? I mean, I could just look outside, I have windows in my workshop, and uh, if that fails, I could just get up and go outside and take a walk and, you know, get some exercise. So I didn't put that in there. So all this information will be displayed on the Max 7219 LED matrix here. There's eight of them here, but I wanted something else to make it more interesting. So that's why I added the uh, Nexteon display that you see here. So this is a cheap 2.8 Nexteon display, and I'm using it to display some animations to show what these numbers mean. Now, for example, when I'm displaying quote of the day, I have animation of a thinking Homer Simpson, another Homer with clocks when it's showing the time and YouTube and animation when I'm showing the subscribers. So that makes it like more vibrant and it moves a little bit more than just showing uh, just numbers here. Now, all in all, I'm happy with the results and a little animation uh, on the screen makes it so that I don't mind having this thing on all the time in the workshop. So there you go. That's my take on the YouTube counter. Now, the code for this is pretty big. There's a lot of libraries involved. So if you want more information on this project, go to my website. I have a full write-up with all the libraries that you need. The code will be there, the, the connection diagram as well. So if you ever want to build one for yourself, 
I guess there's not a lot of people that want to build these things anymore, but the information is there. So I invite you to check that out. But I'll do it for today, guys. Uh, I'm working on something else for next week. So I hope you guys will join me for that one. It's not Arduino based. It's something that I have to do in the workshop, but uh, it's something pretty important for me. So uh, I hope you guys uh, check that one out next week. So like I always say, my name is Ivan and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.